Hey guys, it's Charles. So I thought it would be really cool to actually show you guys how to read nutritional labels and things that I watch out for. Because obviously we all know that cooking your own foods and preparing your own dishes is the way to go. But I understand that we're all super busy and sometimes, you know, circumstances change what we have available and what we can do. So I definitely believe that, okay, if you're gonna be realistic, we're all gonna buy foods from outside markets and grocery stores. And here are some ways on how to read your nutritional labels, what things to watch out for, and what to shop for to have in your pantry at all times just to keep you healthy. So a lot of people have been asking me, what do I eat? And I thought, why not just show you guys what I buy? And this kind of switches all the time. And my philosophy is not to eat the same foods over and over again, because I truly believe that you know, when you start eating the same foods over and over again, your body just starts getting used to it and stops absorbing all the nutrients. So these are just some things that I'm doing now, but as the seasons change, as the weather changes, my body adjusts and I crave different types of foods. So going back to listening to my body, I kind of listen to what my body wants. And right now it's summertime. The weather in New York City is super, super hot. So I'm eating a lot of hydrating foods. And I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I bought at the health food store. If you guys have any questions, leave it below. If you guys do any of these things, let me know. So first things first, I love, love, love always hydrating with lots of water. So I always have spring water on hand. Sometimes I get filtered water, um, different things. And I've been drinking gazpacho. I love a good hearty soup, but because the weather is kind of hot and warm, I want something that is not gonna make me sweat even more, you know? We all have those moments when we eat and then like we're like sweating like crazy. So I got gazpacho. Usually I would make it by myself. I'm not at a kitchen right now, so I'm not making anything. I'm just kind of going with what I have available. And this is an organic gazpacho that I found. And one thing that I really look at when I buy store-bought food is that there's no preservatives. The only preservatives is um, lemon juice, which I love. And also I make sure that the sodium content is on point. So when I buy a gazpacho, I make sure it's gluten free and also the sodium is low and there's no added preservatives. Um, the only preservative in here is lemon and it's vegetarian, which is awesome. This is a great way to get lots of nutrition. If you can make it at home in your own Nutribullet or Vitamix or blender, best thing ever, you're gonna get fresh produce, easily digestible, and it's just gonna give you all the nourishment and you won't feel weighed down because you're not spending all your time digesting. So this is a fantastic food when it's hot and you just want instant energy and you don't want to spend all your time. So next things next, as you guys know, I love eating fish. This is a wild caught salmon. I don't eat this all the time, but this is a wild caught a poached salmon, which I love with lots of herbs. So poached meaning that it's cooked in water. It hasn't been, um, you know, cooked with lots of oil. So if you want to stay off of too much fat, because this is there's already healthy fats in here, um, you're getting your omegas and lots of herbs. I love, love, love. Adding some lemon juice on here, perfect source of protein. If you're a vegetarian, don't worry about it. You guys can eat other sources of protein. But this I do once in a while. Another thing I love is quinoa. So quinoa, quinoa, this is a quinoa salad I found at the store. But usually I buy my own quinoa. You can get like organic quinoa from Trader Joe's, super cheap. And it gets, gives you lots of protein. It's easily digestible. Cause I noticed that when I eat uh, quinoa, it's actually easier to digest than say brown rice. I feel a lot heavier when I eat like lots of starches. So I love eating quinoa, especially when I'm working out. It's summertime. This is great source of building your muscles and cleansing yourself. Also great for reju rejuvenating your skin, which I love. Um, always have lots of fruits on hand. I try to get lots of berries. I didn't have any berries because I finished them earlier. So lots of raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. I love them because they're lower in sugar. I throw them in my smoothies or just eat them with yogurt first thing in the morning. Um, I always, always, always have organic teas on hand. They come so in handy uh, when you need an extra boost of energy. Um, in the morning if you want like green tea, it's really nice. Black tea is really nice. And this is chamomile, so at nighttime, right before you go to bed, good for your digestion, really nice for calming yourself down. And I always have on hand 
Um, some seasoning. So this is a vegetable seasoning, lots of herbs. There's no salt added to it whatsoever. So if you're trying to watch your sodium, this is fantastic. Um, always get lots of spinach. Yum, yum, yum. I love getting spinach. Uh, buy organic when you can. I didn't have organic, so I got these. And once in a while, it's okay to switch it up on your body. You don't have to get fanatic about eating everything organic. I think it's always about balance and doing what you can, doing your best. Um, and some smoothie powders I have, some maca powder. I love maca powder. If you guys want me to do a video, I'll do another video just on maca powder. I think there's already a video. I'll link it below. I love chia seeds. So chia seeds, great source of protein, omega-3s again. Hemp seeds, I top these off on my salads, on my smoothies, um, anything so yummy. And this is something I got. This is just like a sprouted almond milk with hemp seeds, maca, honey, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg. So good. This is like a little treat because um, uh, it gets costly. If you can make it yourself, it's so much easier. Um, and oh, these brown rice snaps. So, you know, I'm all about you know, feeding your guilty pleasures and finding a balance and not depriving yourself. So this is one of my guilty pleasures. I love something that's crunchy. Sometimes I get kale chips, but it doesn't have the nice crunch. So I get these uh, brown rice crackers. Have you ever guys ever had this? It's so good. If you like it, comment below. I have lots of recipes of this. But this is like a little haul of what I've been eating. So I can be transparent with you guys. And if you guys like this, I'll do this more often, but I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Lots of videos coming up. See you guys soon. Bye. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see more videos and you want me to pump out videos every single day, make sure you subscribe and I will do that. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.